Hey guys, it's Lisa, and welcome to my channel. Uh, today, we're going to make over some items actually to go in my home. And these, I got a set of these, or a couple of these little windows from Hobby Lobby, and they're really lightweight, kind of cheap made, uh, and too modern. But they're just going to fit the space that I need them in. So all that I'm going to do to these is tone them down. So I'm just going to tone down that white and uh, add some Dixie Dirt in the creases to give it a little bit of age. And then I'll use my bronze gilding wax on the black iron to tone that down. Now I'm really disheartened with my music because I've been wanting or I've been trying to play my friend Lori's music. And uh, for one thing, to help her channel grow uh, but also, it's just uh, the type of music that I really want for my channel. She's made sure that she's not uh, using anything that is copyrighted. So, I don't really understand why I'm getting that. Uh, I don't think she's getting that message. So, um, I don't know. Um, I don't, I'm not ready to give up completely on it, but if I keep getting those copyright issues, I'm afraid that it will affect my channel, and um, I don't want to get blocked or anything. I'm not sure how that works, uh, so I'm going to have to figure it out before I can use it again, so I'm very sorry that I'm not able to play her music, but I'm going to continue to uh, to put her link in my description. And um, for those of you who are uh, who are enjoying her music, because you can just go over to her channel and subscribe and listen to her anytime. Now here I'm just putting that gilding wax. I'm using the color bronze, antique bronze. And uh, no, it may not even be antique bronze. I think it's just bronze. Uh, gilding wax and I'll just put that on there with my finger and uh, letting some of that black show through uh, will just make this look like more of an antique bronze. Now here I'm just adding just a little bit of that turquoise paint. I think I'm using mermaid tail here and going into the joints and just here and there just to add a little bit of that blue patina just to make it look like it's uh, aged. And then of course I'll go over this whole thing with uh, a clear sealer and I just use spray Krylon matte finish. But before I seal this, I'm just taking a very small brush and working some of this Dixie Dirt into some of the low spots and then I'll just wipe that away good and then uh, and then I'll seal it and again and it's then a very the next subtle item difference, that I'm going to make but, over um, and this but is enough going to my that, house also um, I was a lot this is what they call it. a brick mold and I have some of these that I'm going to keep just in this wood because I do love the look but the way I want to use this one I need this to be white and so um I'm going to give this two coats of the color buttercream. But before I do that, because these brick molds, uh, you can almost almost feel a, a waxy surface to them. Uh, so I was afraid, and I'm almost certain that I would get some bleed through. So I'm going over this with a coat of uh, a polycrylic coat, and I'm just using a semi-gloss finish and uh, giving this a really good coat and letting it dry well before I paint it so that I don't get any bleed through and that did keep me from getting bleed through. So once I cover these with the polycrylic and let them dry well then I'm again I'm going to give them two coats of the color buttercream on the inside and outside. I'm not redecorating entirely but I'm just kind of uh, trying to add some little spring touches to my living room so uh, I just wanted to do some little pieces that I could use for that. So once I get this uh, two coats put on this and let it dry well, then I'm going to put a stencil on this one. And I'm just going to put a French country stencil. Uh, I've tried to think on different occasions what is my decorating style. And... Um, Sometimes I think it's somewhat farmhouse. 
uh, somewhat cottage and somewhat old French country. So, but I guess if I had to, if I had to stick with one style, I guess I'm more old French country. But I don't like a lot of things. Uh, I like to keep it more simple. Um, and I like white. Um, but I don't like, even though these stamps, I mean these stencils, I use a lot. I, I don't like to overdo the Paris theme. Uh, but I do like the look of these stencils. So I'm just going to take kind of parts of it. And with this one, uh, only a small part. And this is, I'm doing this in um, burlap. This color is burlap for this little design here. And then I'll do the letters on the top. And it just says flower market. I'll do those in black stays on ink. So once I finish this stencil on here and let it dry, then I'm just going to take this outside and use the sander on it. Uh, I'm just using an orbital sander because I want to do some pretty heavy distress on this. And then obviously I will uh, use a clear uh, matte sealer on this one as well. And I was really happy with how this turned out. I was a little bit nervous about painting the brick mold because I haven't painted one of them until now. But I'm really glad that I did. Then the next item that I'm going to do is a little bucket, and I think that it is some type of stoneware. Uh, as you can see, I had a plant in it at one time, so I'm going to give this a cleaning, and then um, I'm going to put a clay mold on this. So I decided on the one from uh, the set Fleur de Lis, and that's an IOD set. And um, I'm just going to put the little bunny on there. I don't feel the need to paint this at all. Uh, I like the finish that, that the bucket has. And it has some age cracks and things in it. And I like that look. Uh, but I am going to put this on here. And then in order to, um, to give this mold some age, then I will first stain it with some... Um, with some glaze and then uh, and then I'll just dry brush some buttercream over the top of that and I'm not worried about getting it on this glass because obviously that's going to wipe off really easily around it and I'll just attach that with some tight bond thick and quick and that's just the best thing that I've found to uh, attach the molds on with and I'll just give a good even coat of that on this and glue it to the side. And then I'll wait to do my um, glaze until I feel like the glue has dried long enough that it's not going to try to slide or anything. And then also, when you're uh, finishing these, you can do them when they're wet. And it actually is better because you get less cracking that way. Uh, but you have to be really careful not to put too much pressure on them because you don't want to smooth out any of the details. So that's the only thing that you need to be really careful with when you're working with these wet. So once I added the wax to this and then dry brushed that white over it, I let that dry well and then uh, I just brush coated some uh, polyurethane or polycrylic over the top of just the bunny. I wanted to say that I know I don't take enough time to tell you guys how deeply I appreciate every one of you. Uh, I just feel so overwhelmed with all the support and encouragement that I get from each of you. Uh, I just don't want to let that go without making you know how grateful I am. Now instead of the brown glaze, I'm using Van Dyke brown glaze here, but instead of that, you could use a uh, just a brown wax if you wanted, or honestly, you could even use a brown paint because all that I'm doing is just making sure that it gets down into all the detail of the rabbit so that all that I have to do with that, with the buttercream is just kind of very lightly uh, dry brush that over the top and then all that detail still has the brown inside it and then the shading around the edges. So that's the only reason for this. So I could have used just a brown paint and you can, um, 
but this worked out fine. And now uh, just dry brushing that over the top. And you can, I'm, I'm doing the amount that I want on this, but if you're not comfortable that you may get too much, just really, really, really wipe off your brush so that all you're doing is just a very light dry brush. And then you can always keep adding until you get it the way you want it. But I was happy with how that turned out. Now here is a mess. And, uh, but I love the shape of this and I thrifted it. Um, but it, as you can see, it has a lot of trim missing and some trim that's broken. I do have the piece to one of those pieces of trim. So the little curve on the top, I do have that one. So I'm just going to glue that back on. But all this on the bottom, there's only one piece on one end. And I just go ahead and take it off so that I can just do some clay molds to go all the way around it. This obviously didn't have batteries in it, so I don't even know that it works. Uh, I don't really even care if it works because I'm going to use it on my mantle where I already have a clock. So it'll never be set anyway. Um, but I just love clocks. It's just um, old clocks and old mirrors. I don't care if the clocks work. I don't care if the mirrors have all the age smudges in, in the glass. I actually like that even more. Um, but out of all my old clocks, I like the little, uh, the little small ones too. Um, most of them probably don't work, but I just like the look of them. So I decorate with those a lot. Now, starting with a piece like this is one of my favorite things to do because uh, it starts out looking like it's headed for the dumpster and maybe should be. Uh, but there's just a lot of little things you can do to this to, to completely change it up and make it look like it's not ever looked like this. So I'm just cleaning it up well and then I'll make all the clay molds to go around the base and uh, it'll be an easy fix because you can use just about any trim mold that you want on this. I just found some that would fit. Now I did have to, um, I did have to do two rows of them because it's wide coming up the clock and it's wide coming out from the base. If that makes any sense, you'll see as I'm doing it. But I'm removing this face and I'm going to uh, add some bronze uh, gilding wax around that little uh, piece on the front and then um, the rest of this will get painted. I also added some bronze gilding wax on the on the hands uh, because they were silver and I knew that didn't look old so I didn't like that look at all. So uh, anything that was silver got the, the bronzing, the uh, bronze gilding wax and then all the wood got uh, the color buttercream. So I'll give this two coats of the color buttercream. Now this is a trim mold that my sister gave me, so I'm not sure where to find this. I will try to find it on Amazon and link it if I do, but any trim mold will work on this. Just uh, do the ones that will fit the space that you're trying to put it on. So I, f I had to use two different ones here, but the ones that I used seem to go together well. And if you're for not familiar with clay molds, I'm using the DAS clay uh, and I'm just putting air dry clay actually, and I'm just putting it in there after I've put a little bit of cornstarch in the mold and then uh, just press it down smooth and then pull that out and you've made a piece of trim. You can do this on furniture, uh, you can do it on glassware, you can put these on just about anything. And then I'm just gluing all these in place uh, with my tight bond thick and quick. Now I always like to make sure that I put that glue on and get it smoothed out really well and not have it so thick that my piece will slide because that's the only problem that you have. Now this thick and quick is not nearly as bad to do that, that as some of the other glues, but uh, I still like to get it smoothed really well before I put that on there. Now you could use other air dry clays as well. Um, I just, I prefer the DAS clay. Uh, some people like the IOD. I've never even tried that. 
but I have tried some other brands that seem to do okay. And with this, I'm going to paint it also before it dries because, uh, again, I, I feel like you get much less cracking when you paint it before it dries. Then I'll also attach all those extra trim pieces with the tight bond as well. Now what I'm doing here is I ended up having to paint these little hands with some black paint because this gilling wax wanted to just kind of slide and not actually attach to that raw metal. So by taking some black chalk paint and painting it first, then this worked out really well. And I did that same thing to that little rim around the glass. And as you can see, this is very slowly coming together. Now I didn't mention that I also, uh, before I started doing any of this, after I cleaned this well, um, I put a clear matte spray on this, or not a spray, I actually used some clear uh, polycrylic on this with a brush so that I didn't get it on that face. But I was afraid with this wood and this stain that I might get some bleed through on this one. So I did take that precaution ahead of time. And now comes my favorite part. Uh, when I start painting this because it's amazing that right away you'll see such a difference in this clock. I know some of you don't like to paint wood. Uh, I know some of you like the, the natural stain that comes on it and don't like to mess with that, but I enjoy seeing um, the change that it makes and there are some pieces that i won't touch the stain on i do like some stain uh, but I, I felt like this one would look much better with this buttercream so once i get two coats on this and let it dry uh, i actually let it dry but I didn't let it dry really well i just let it dry to the touch because i'm just using a damp cloth and i'm gonna get plenty of uh, distress just kind of wiping this off. And then of course I finished it off with another coat of polycrylic. And I just really love how this one turned out. Now I'm gonna make over this little bird. And what I want on this is I want it to look like old brass. So I'm taking this uh, turquoise stain, and it's a Dixie Bell stain. I'll look this one up. I can't remember what the color was. Uh, you could actually even use a, um, a regular paint. You just want somewhat of this color underneath. I want it to settle in all the little detail because what I'm going to do is use my gilding wax on this and in the color bronze. Uh, I know I want it to look like old brass, but it can look like old brass and old bronze. Sometimes to me, it's hard to tell the difference. But I thought if I added this color first, uh, then um, it would settle down in some of those creases. And then uh, when I don't give it complete full coverage with the, with the gilding wax, some of that will show through and give it that patina that it needs to look old. So I just keep taking my finger and adding it lightly until I get the whole thing covered. And um, again, I, I'm going to leave some of this blue showing through. I only discovered the gilding wax a couple years ago, and but I'm really loving it. And this one is Dixie Belle. I'm sure there's all kinds uh, that work just as well. Uh, but I've had this little bitty container of this bronze at, since I started using it to begin with, and I haven't had to replace it yet. So although there's very little in a container, or the container is very small actually, it goes a very, very long ways. And there's really no other way to do this but just to get messy because uh, you're you're going to get it all over your hands, but it will come off with some uh, warm, soapy water. Um, but I just love the look that this gives. And uh, you guys, most of you know me. I'm not afraid to get messy 
Uh, my hands look like this most of the time anyway. And I know it seems like I'm covering up all that blue, and I am covering most of it, but just the subtle amount that I leave uh, really gives it the illusion that it, it is real. I mean, it really ends up looking like an old brass piece. And I love that this little bird is concrete because uh, it also feels heavy like brass. Now, I haven't gotten around to adding the uh, bronze gilding wax to my large wall clock uh, where that's black, uh, but I do plan on doing that later. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you in the next. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless you and your family.